we're going to talk about my good buddy Xander Hall. Who here is a fan of Xander Hall? Xander Hall to me is just the absolute fucking worst guy on YouTube. Hands down, I can't stand this piece of fucking human dog shit. Uh, he is the guy, I, I'm pretty sure they wrote that article about him where it's like, I felt down the alt-right pipeline where I started as a Minecraft fan and now I'm a Nazi. You know, it's like, what the, first of all, what the fuck are you talking about? Minecraft, listen, if you're stupid enough to go from a Minecraft fan to being a Nazi, it's like, what, I don't even know what you're supposed to do with people like that. I guess you just throw them in prison. Like, that, that's, you're too stupid. You're too stupid if you get radicalized that easily. That's just, it's insane. But then he became this, like, left-wing figurehead, and now he has a very, um, you know, he loves licking on Vosh's penis. He likes slurping up his cum. Um, you know, he was in a relationship with a woman that was 10 years older than him who turned out to be a meth head that was stealing from his PayPal account. This guy's a fucking idiot. He can't do anything right. As we know it. I mean, look at his camera. Wait till you see this guy. I mean, Xander Hall is just so stupid. He's got the dumbest face. Every time I'm doing videos where I'm talking about Xander Hall, I'm what I do, I'm I'm making the the thumbnail, you know, I'm doing my thing, I'm making the thumbnail, I'm screenshotting his face. But zero zero times has his face been in focus. This guy cannot put, he, he does not know how to use his camera settings. Because if you look, his face is out of focus while the dresser and bed are like perfectly in focus. And his bedroom is just fucking insane and disgusting. It's all white. He's got like a the biggest butt plug in the world right behind his chat right over here. I mean, you go to Russia to be in a room like this, it costs you $300 for a half hour. I mean, this is gross. Content creators will not be honest with the audiences. What they do is they set up these um, sort of like alliances. So... A big one that we saw recently was with uh, Tipster and Xyli and uh, Chris the Narc, where it doesn't matter what they do, they're friends, they have an armistice, so they're not going to say anything bad about those other people, and, you know, we're part of a clan, so, you know, if you go against people in our tribe, you're basically trying to destroy our tribe from the inside. It's a really fucking gross attitude, especially when it gets into topics like politics because you know i would hope that you know an online political thinker has the agency to kind of say how they unabashedly feel about another person or another topic i think that is completely you need that it is crucial for understanding the topics if if the commentator isn't being honest with you if there's hidden sort of um, alliances and if there's hidden incentive structures, it makes it harder for the viewer to understand what the fuck is going on. And Xander Hall falls into the Vosh camp. He's like a Vosh guy where he's downstream of Vosh. Anything that Vosh does, Xander Hall has to support no matter what because he's sucking on his fucking dick getting all the cum, putting it in a system. That's how he uh, stays, you know, neutrified. Is that what you call it? Stays neutrified. That's why he's so skinny. The only thing he eats is Vosh's cum. That's the only thing this fucking weirdo eats. So a big thing in the Vosh community, if you guys don't know, Vosh is, he's friends with Shoe on Head, who's one of like the dumbest Twitch political people that there is. And every couple months she says something fucking dumb, she will say something that left-wing people just can't get behind. And lo and behold, um, you know, Dick Lickin Xander Hall is going to make a video defending her, not because he himself uh, likes Shu or believes any of the things that she says, but he does it because Va Daddy Vosh, he didn't want to upset Daddy Vosh. That's what it is. And we're going to see uh, this fucking turned on him in a hilarious way. So we are going to click on this right here. Um, let's take a look. This is Xander Hall. Um, this this is the guy. Um, 
Really, again, like look at how skinny he is. Just enough nutrition for the cum to work. Because uh, he sits on his computer all day. You know, he doesn't really use that much energy. Click on one of his videos. So this is an example. This has happened. It's a nugget. A couple of times. And then I think this is uh, this is him. What is this video called? It's called something like, oh, video unavailable. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Here, I'll show you this. So this is really, really funny. Because uh, this is really how embarrassing this is. Right here, shoe on head is being accused of, and it's an 18 minute video of him explaining why what shoe on head did was good or you know was just because Vosh told him to. So I guess what happened was this is the Balenciaga, sh you know, fucking everybody's talking about Balenciaga. It's the new Pizza Gate or whatever the fuck. And um, I guess shoe on head made a tweet about how. You know, she doesn't like how kids get raped or something. I don't know what. And I guess Xander Hall has a problem with that. I'm certain this is goth like uh, uh, gear, like like goth gear, isn't it? Like this isn't literal BDS. Oh my god, this guy is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is goth gear. I think this is goth gear, right, guys? A bear wearing a fucking full BDSM outfit. You don't. You think that's that's goth gear? That's what you think? pocket of, of it but i oh my god how photo. people like this make you really question reality it's like i'm on the left but i see people like this i'm like am i like a full fucking alt-right like if if this is what the left i don't know what the fuck i am you can see is wearing like a collar and like one of those strap harnesses and like a bow now people have called this like kink bdsm gear yeah it's definitely meant to be evocative of, of it but i think this is a fashion brand. I'm pretty sure this is like... Oh, God. okay. Yeah, that's cool. It's a fashion brand, so that makes up for it. Um, what was the name of the... Uh, Naomi, what was the name of the gym coach who did all that bad shit? What was the name of that gym coach who did all that bad stuff? Um, yeah, it's like, oh, he was just a gym coach, you know? So it can't be bad. Oh, it's a fashion brand, so what could go wrong? Like oh Larry Nassar yeah Larry Nassar <laughs> I'm pretty certain this is goth like uh, uh gear like like goth gear, isn't it? It's just goth like, this gear. This is literal guys. BDSM gear they're advertising here in the photo. Is it? Does anybody know? Like like I'm actually curious. See, th this is what <laughs> this is what I do all day. I walk around. I listen to Xander Hall, and I just punch the glass out of the neighborhood windows while i listen to him talk that's that's my day knows balenciaga is that how it's pronounced if anybody knows their um their brand regardless though um it's it's just a weird image right even if it's just some shock marketing of some goth like clothing like goth like aesthetics that kind of look a little to be showing in an image with a kid it's it's definitely weird here's another image where you've got like another goth they're calling it BDSM gear, but it's pretty clearly goth gear. Um, yeah, it's just goth, goth you gear, know. Bear and a bunch of stuff with a kid standing over it who does not want. See, to that's be the thing. It's like if you can't even admit that it's weird to give a a child a BDSM stuffed animal, then it's like I I just discount the rest of what you're saying. <laughs> very clearly, and then this. Is and is so photo that to, has the to so arrogantly dismiss it as like oh it's just goth you know it's just goth stuff document you got the zoom in on it and then oh and this this is pretty fucking funny too this is a rich kid standing over it who does not want to be there very clearly and then this is the photo that has the court document you got the zoom in on it and then if you continue it down below there's like a fully like viewed thing so what you would see here, uh, if you read Shu's tweet as she pre presents it, is that this clothing company for rich people is presenting children posing with BDSM gear uh, clad teddy bears while also leaving tiny little clues that they're pedophiles trying to push pedophile like child porn uh, in like the background for all of the internet sleuths to pick up on. That That is unironically the the message you're supposed to get from this tweet. Does anyone here disagree? Does anyone here disagree that is the message that you're supposed to get from this tweet? Um, okay. Yeah, no, I agree. 
but let's let's hear how Xander Hall walks his way out of this one. Now, overall, that's not all that destructive. It's not. <laughs> Even though it's wrong, it's not that destructive. Even if it was just, oh... Yeah, on. you know, I got my kid like a little... Um, I, I got him like a rubber boat butt plug. I, I gave it to him for the bath. Oh, he doesn't use the butt plug part of it. It's just like a part of the toy, right? Like, what? Miss, I... I uh, whatever. It wouldn't even be the end of the world. That's not what I have an issue with. Um, though I am going to take the time to point out that... Yeah, I'm, I'm selling like the Barbie... Um, Hello Barbie jerk-off room. You know? It's like a seedy back room of a massage parlor where Barbie jerks can off. And... You, like, fill it with milk, and it shoots cum everywhere. You know, oh, it's totally... That's fine, right? Just sell that stuff to, like, 10-year-olds. It's, it's not It's not going to confuse them at all. That's totally fine. They're right? probably not... Like, the most sus thing about this, most likely, is probably just the unfortunate reality, the boring but unfortunately known reality, that the modeling industry when it comes to children, is rife with abuse. Let's listen to this and really think about it from Shoe on Head's perspective. If you had some little fucking... Bu you know, if I was Shoe on Head, I would look at Xander Hall like a little fucking booger in my nose. This guy is such a fucking little dweeb. So here's, okay, so here's his tweet right here. So Xander Hall says... Shuan Head on her way to once again use her massive platform to provide the neo-Nazis in her audience with fodder they can use to justify the murder of gay people, but this time uh, the day after another anti-gay terror attack. Holy shit. And this guy's like, he's confused why Shuan Head would block him. I mean, what? Warranted. Uh... She literally like, apology cried on twitter about what happened last time she did something like this this is not like oh she made this mistake for the first time and she couldn't have known this was going to happen she saw See, the i love a story like this the reason why i'm showing this to you is i love it when social climbing goes wrong because somebody like me listen i kind of just I'm going to speak from my chest. If I don't like somebody or whatever, you'll you'll know about it. And people that I like, if they're doing stuff wrong, look at my silence. But somebody like this who actively is bending over backwards to defend somebody that they themselves don't even like because it means that I'm going to be able to be... Uh, tr Vosh is going to... He's going to trust me more because I'm nice to his friends and he'll bring me on the stream more and I'll be able to make more money. Pathetic. If you don't like Shoe on Head, if you think that she's given like fodder for Nazis, you don't pretend to be friends with somebody like this. You don't pretend to be friends with somebody like this and you don't make 30 minute videos defending them. Oh, Shoe on Head is just misunderstood, guys. She's just good old shoe. And then finally, you know, you've had enough of her, she blocks you, you make this unhinged video, and then even more embarrassingly, you delete all the videos that you made in the past defending her. That's what we noticed today. This guy, he can't even stand behind the words that he said in the past. He's compromised. That's the thing about these uh, content creators, is they're completely compromised. You can't believe a fucking word out of their mouths. Everything they say is like an elaborate lie in order to get more clout. So you you just got to consider everything these fucking assholes say. Worst possible scenario. From the angle of like, wh how can them saying this benefit them? That's what you got to think about. The criticism here isn't that Shu at all criticized this. It's that Shu alleged conspiracy refuses to c cultivate an audience that is not filled with people that want to murder the gays. And it's like, you know you really believe everything you said in the past? Am I supposed to take this person at face value from now on? Because I seem to remember this guy has made hours of content defending Shu on Head. She's a good person, guys. You, you, you just don't get it. But on this other hand, as soon as she does something to you, you say you provide the neo-Nazis with fodder. So... On one hand, you're going to be friends with somebody 
who provides fodder for neo-Nazis. So you're willing to be friends with somebody that provides fodder for neo-Nazis and I'm supposed to look up to you because you're, you're this guy who does all this great stuff on the left? How does that make any sense? And then provided a conspiracy that her gay wanting to want to murder want to murder the gay ing audience would only interpret as oh thank you shu here's another example of of uh propaganda we can use to justify the killing of gay people thanks shu we appreciate that we we can always count on, on it's so funny man if somebody doesn't like me that's not going to change how i talk about them or how i feel about them Somebody is allowed to not like me and, you know, somebody could like me and I'll feel a type of way about them. I'll say that they're trustworthy and they're fun to be around. And all of a sudden, if we have a falling out, that doesn't change who that person is. So everything that you said when you like the person, when you're now in a fight with that person, any insult that you levy against them you're almost in a way levying against yourself because this is somebody who in the past, a past version of you was friends with somebody with all these traits. So who's the real loser? Is it Shuan Head or is it you?